I'm feeling persecuted. The Humble Fish and Chips, a British meal that many an Anglophile seeks out in short order upon arriving in the British Isles. Let's not debate whether it's the national dish or the favorite meal. Let's just say it is well-loved. While I have spoken in the past about how much I love fish and chips and some of my favorite shops for enjoying this delightful treat, I've also spoken about my distaste for mushy peas. But then I heard lots of encouragement from my British subscribers about all the different dips I needed to try at a chippy. So I decided that in my 2020 trip, I would have what I am calling fish and chips and all the dips. In this video, I'll review our three fish and chip meals from our September holiday in Britain. I love to enjoy fish and chips at a chippy by the seaside whenever possible. And that is exactly what we had the chance to do in 2020 at three different coastal towns in the West Country. And yes, I do understand the threat of attack by greedy seagulls. More on that later. First, we had fish and chips in Falmouth, Cornwall. We ended up having to eat really late at night after a long day of traveling. And so we stopped by this shop not long before it was closing. At first, we planned to get takeaway, but then we saw that the restaurant was virtually empty. So we took the chance for some social distance dining and went inside to eat at a table much easier to enjoy all the sides and dips we wanted. Harbor Lights was purportedly a UK top 10 fish and chip shop in 2019, so we had high hopes. Let's see how we got on. It's supposed to be an award-winning, really good fish and chip shop. It's right on the water, but it's pitch dark, so we can't show you the water because I listened to what I'm told to do. I've ordered fish and chips and cheesy chips and all the dipping things. Ketchup, curry sauce, gravy, mushy peas, and of course, malt vinegar. So this fish looks really crispy and delicious. I'm gonna have that in a minute. First order of business, we gotta try these cheesy chips. Cheddar cheese melted on them. They're very good. They need salt. Okay, now I have all these dipping things here. So. Curry sauce. That actually is good. All right, and then I was told I need to try a cheesy chip with the gravy. Gravy seems very odd and a fish and chip is not. It's very, very good. The fish is 
really firm and tender. Delicious, very mild, and the crispy coat is awesome. Not, it doesn't like take on all the grease and feel really greasy and heavy. So, excellent, excellent fish and chips. Highly recommend Harbor Lights and Papa. The second fish and chips meal we'll highlight is from our visit to Linmouth, Devon. This is another wonderful coastal town, which we will be featuring in an upcoming vlog, so please watch for that. Before talking about the food, I have to share with you the beverage that I bought with my meal, Tarka Springs Water, with an adorable little otter face on it. This is another episode of fish and chips and all the dips, because I'm trying all the dips that people told me I needed to try when I went to a chippy. So I've got some garlic mayo this time, sweet chili sauce, which I would never order this. I'm only doing it because y'all put me up to it, and some tartar sauce. The other thing we're taste testing is we're getting cod and haddock because we can never remember which one we like better. So we're getting both and we'll do a taste test. We are, however, at the seaside, as you can maybe see here in Linmouth, and um, I have seen a couple seagulls around, not many, but we're going to be very careful. Uh-oh. There is a seagull up there, perched at the top of the building across the street from us. Ian feels like the seagull is eyeing him in particular. Oh my, oh my, there's another one. I don't think you can see it. But... Yep. There's another seagull. So we're going to be very careful about eating our food. There is another seagull doing reconnaissance. Choosing its next victim. First, the gulls started bothering these nice women who were attempting to enjoy their meal. Then they started invading our personal space. Look at this cheeky gull right behind my head while I'm trying to eat my fish and chips. Yes, I'm talking about you. Go away. Go away. I'm feeling persecuted. I'm keeping my food covered until this guy leaves. Okay, first I'm going to try the cod had cod before. Mm. <laughs> this batter is really good, really crispy. Okay, so that's the cod. Here's the haddock. And it has, you see how it has like skin on that side. I wasn't expecting that. The haddock seems firmer and a bit fishier tasting. I think I still prefer the cod. So now we're gonna try some dips. This is the tartar sauce. It's tangy and you get the pickles as well as kind of lemon juicy taste, not just mayonnaise -y. It's really good. All right, here's the sweet chili sauce, which I never would have ordered if y'all had to put this up to it. That's actually good. They had a hot chili sauce that had like three chili peppers after it, and I was not gonna do that, but the sweet one, it's got a little bit of a kick, Ian's gonna like it. And now for this <laughs> extremely white looking garlic mayonnaise. Mmm, that's really garlicky. Mm. I'm gonna let Ian have that. He grew up in Gilroy, California, which is garlic capital of the world, so he might like that, but that's a little too garlicky for me. I think just the plain vinegar was actually better than the garlic mayonnaise. But both the fish and the chips are both really good from this Esplanade fish bar. So if you're ever in Linmouth in Devon, I would recommend. Here's Ian trying to finish his fish and chips, and I'm guarding him from this menace to society who's been here, hovering. And this menace. These two have been stalking us. And we don't appreciate it. 
but the good news is that we were able to enjoy our entire meal with no sandlins injured and no stolen food. Our third and final fish and chip experience to review is from the lovely fishing village of Mausel, Cornwall. This is a dinner I mentioned in my last video. It was the fanciest of all the fish and chips, just steps away from this harbor in a lovely setting. Two Four Street Restaurant, because that's the address, Two Four Street. This more upscale restaurant had a great menu of standard items plus daily specials. There was a nice indoor eating area, but we opted to eat outside in the back under an umbrella to protect from potential aviary attacks. This is Ian's dinner. It is super fancy gourmet fish and chips. The fish is place and it's place goujon, which is, <laughs> which is French for fancy fish fingers. <laughs> And we've got some bright green peas in there. Ian will have to tell us if those are good mushy peas. See, these are some of the best mushy peas I've had. That's not saying much, but they are really good. Um, they're a little bit sweet. We used to be mushy peas haters, but this is just demonstrating how open-minded we are. That's right. It's, it's got a, a decent flavor. We just needed to have fancy mushy peas at a nice place like this and I'm pleased to report that the fish with the fancy caper mayonnaise dip was also delicious. So what is your favorite type of fish to eat when you're having fish and chips? Thanks for watching and do something good in the world today.